Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another Universal Studios Wizarding World haul. I just recently went and I picked up a few goodies to share with you guys today. I went last week. By the time you guys are seeing this video, it would have been like a week ago that I did go. The first items I'm gonna share with you guys are clothing items because when we did go, we had a massive cold front in Florida and it was 40 degrees Fahrenheit and that's cold. That's, that's very cold, especially in Florida. It was windy, so I wasn't prepared. So the first things that I bought when I went were these gloves. It it is a set of Gryffindor gloves and these were about $15. I had them take off the price tags because I wore them right away and they're a perfect fit. Like they're cute. I believe they did have them in all the houses. They also had different kinds of gloves as well, but I went for the basic black Gryffindor gloves because I can wear them all the time. The next item is this sweater and it is a Quidditch Gryffindor sweater and I believe they're made in Scotland is what it says. Yes, so made in Scotland. It's very thick and very warm. If you're hearing Jingle Bell run around, that would be Lexi. What are you doing? What are you doing? And outside she goes. But it's super thick and it's very stretchy. And then you have a little line at the bottom and then the thicker band here. And this reminds me of Harry and Ron when they're getting ready to play Quidditch. So I bought it because one, I love it, it's warm and it's like authentic. So that is why I picked it up. This one was definitely on the pricey side. I walked out of the store four times to look for something else but I came back to this one. So it was, I don't know exactly, I think it was between 90 and maybe 110. It was somewhere in between there. So this one is definitely a bit more on the pricey side. And then the next clothing item that I picked up was the scarf. And this is the Gryffindor house scarf. And it's just that basic, perfect, lovely, cuddly knit scarf. And this, I don't know either. I think it was around 24.95, maybe, give or take. Okay, so now all the other items, I do have prices for you guys, but those were the ones that I didn't because I wore them straight away and they cut off the tags for me, which was really nice. So if you guys buy any wearables and you wanna wear them right then and there, they'll cut off the tags for you. So that's super sweet. The next item we purchased was Buckbeak. It's a keychain and it's kind of like a rubbery, it's a hard rubber if that makes any sense. But we did purchase Buckbeak. The keychain was $6.95. The next two items are two keychains that were combined. It's a key, it's the, what is it babe? The Green Gots key. And then Larry found a keychain with his name on it and it is a spinning Hogwarts castle key with his name on it, which I was so happy that he did find something with his name on it. So he has combined these two together, put on his key ring set. And the prices for these, he already put it on his key ring. The Green Gods key was $12.95 and the Spinner Castle key with the name on it was $15. The next keychain is one of my favorites. I'm not 100% sure if this is gonna focus, but I'm having to use a stocking actually guys because the camera is focusing on the Christmas tree and the lights behind me and the holes in my shirt. So for the smaller items, I'm using a lovely red stocking to show you guys. But this is a keychain with all of the house crest on it and I just loved like the trinkety, like sound that it makes and the colors on it are so cute i honestly want to use it on my keys so bad but i'm afraid it's going to scratch them but they're just so cute and colorful and this is 24.95 so one of the pricier keychains probably but it has everything every house and the house or the hogwarts crest so it's perfect the next item is a night bus keychain and that one focused right away, perfect. And it's very heavy, it is $14.95. I believe some of these keychains were new. The next ones I thought would be kind of fun. They're different and it is four pins and they're the dragons. We have the Swedish short snout, the Hungarian horntail, the common Welsh green, and the Chinese fireball. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Next is a pin that is used, I believe it's in the elevators for Green Gods to let people know where they are going. And this little arrow does move around, so that is cute. So we picked that pin up as well. Miles. It's in miles. Zero mile, one, two, three. The bank, Green Gods Bank is huge. 
The next pin is probably one of my favorites. I know I say this about all pins. I'm a collector of pins, but this pin, guys, when you see it, look at this cute peppermint toads pin. It is so adorable. This pin is one of my favorites. I love the color. It literally matches the Honey Dukes candy box, which I thought was cute. And the peppermint toad pin was $8.95. I think I need coffee. I'm going delirious and I need to clean the house. The next pin is another very unique pin, and it is the Weasley's Shop kind of pin. And this pin is $12.95, and it even has, you guys can see, even has the little rabbit on his head. The last and final item I picked up at the Wizarding World was the Peppermint Toads. They are dark chocolate peppermint tea. Yummy. This is the last item that I picked up, and these are so delicious. I actually picked them up as a gift for my mom. Mom, you're probably watching this video, but you probably already knew that was going to happen. So, Peppermint Toads are coming your way. Okay, and the peppermint toads were $8.95. Actually, somebody had asked me a while ago, I want to do another Honey Dukes candy taste test video, but somebody did ask me, like, how long the candies last and do they expire right away, and they actually don't. These expire January 3rd of 2020, so you have a little more than a full year to eat the peppermint toads. I think that's everything. That is everything in this Universal haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Also, let me know which item was your favorite in this haul. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Bye. The first items that I'm gonna share with you guys. <laughs> Babe. Okay, here we go. The first items that I'm gonna share with you guys are clothing items because when we went, Lexi. <laughs> okay. Are you laughing at me? Cause I said that. Cause I said they're super sweet and they'll cut off the tags. No, I wore them straight away. Did I say that? If this camera doesn't focus today, I swear. Ow. The next item are, they're two. The next item is two key. Please help me. Just camera, be nice to me. Honestly, honestly. Seriously, seriously, guys. Seriously. seriously. Perfect. Okay, the next pin I have is the Green Gods Bank when you're in the elevator. Or what, what is that? What is this? Focus, focus, the Sisters. struggle. What'd you say, babe? Sisters. Sisters! <laughs> Why aren't these freaking camera focusing? Oh my word. Okay, coming back. Oh, hello, we're sideways. And if you've ever gone to Universal at the Wizard Weezes Weasels, Did you just hear what I said? Wizard, Weas wizard. wizard Weezes, Wizards, Weasley's Wizard Weezes, right? Weasley's, oh. Wizards, Weasley, oh my God. If you've ever seen the Weasley's Wizard Weezes <laughs> at Universal Studios, the, you know, the guy, one of the twins, the Weasley twins, the guy tips off his hat and there is a bunny underneath of it and he lifts it and then the bunny is gone. So it's really cool, you should check that out. And then the last and final item that I picked up at the Wizarding World, focus, sister. 